I was the student, would you be the teacher? If I was the sinner, would you be the preacher? Would you be my? Mr. the done, the done, done. I still got a lot of shit to learn. I'll admit it. Mr. the done, the done, done. I still got a lot of shit to learn. I'll admit it. Uh, feeling like a digit in a system, just another stupid number. I don't know. What is up, guys? You're hanging out with your boy, T-H-O-G, Reekin. I'm coming at you today because the other day I dropped a video talking about a small theory that I had on how enlisted weapons and professional weapons were direct links to obtaining those elite weapons that everyone is going for. And in that video, I was explaining how I wanted to start using the HBRA-3 in order to try to get the insanity. Well, my style of gameplay really doesn't allow for the HBRA3 to be used. I mean, I'm a runner and gunner. I love to, you know, just get those close quarters kills. I mean, there are a couple of long range shots that I usually get, but it's really difficult to do with the Raider because it has a drop in accuracy. And with that drop in accuracy, it forces the gun to just pretty much go all over the place if you're not pulsating the trigger button. So, I don't know, maybe it's the class setup I have. This is the class setup I have right here. Um, I use the HBRA3 Raider, I use a silencer, I use the red dot sight and foregrip. Now, foregrip I use because, of course, a lot of recoil, gotta try and minimize that. Red dot sight, I don't like the stock iron sights on this gun, so I go with the red stock. That way, I, you know, I can actually see down sights and I can see everything around it. You know, it doesn't just block out the screen. I also use a suppressor because I usually play core, but with this gun, I decided to play hardcore to try and get, you know, easier kills. So I'm running lightweight, low profile, blind eye, fast hands, and blast suppressor just to stay off the map. You know, um, granted there is no HUD in hardcore, but in core modes there is a HUD, and then in hardcore a lot of people, they all run UAV. So you gotta do whatever you can to stay off that mini map when that UAV comes up. So because this gun is so sluggish, I started using overclock. It helps me get around faster, get to the middle of the map, try and get that first pick and try to get to where I died last. You know, like I said, maybe it's a class setup, maybe it's just me. You know, if you guys got any comments on that, help me out. You know, help me get better with this HBRA3 Raider. But anyway, because I wasn't so good with it, I decided to switch up and uh, play with the KF5 Genuine. Now, the KF5 Genuine is the one that I believed to link you to the KF5 Breakneck. And that's the gameplay that you're seeing here in the background. I'm using the KF5 Genuine. And the class setup that I have, I use foregrip, advanced rifling, and extended mags. The reason why I use extended mags is because this gun takes a lot more you know, bullets in order to get kills because the damage is only at an eight you know the genuine is a plus one damage over the original but still you know it still takes a lot of bullets to kill people especially if you miss the first five rounds because the first five rounds of every magazine have a, you know a higher percentage of damage so you, you know it's like bonus points for damage so i decided to use that to go for the break net i ran it for about 30 levels from prestige master 11 level 45 to about prestige master 12 level 23 and out of nowhere i get a supply drop and in that supply drop i get the breakneck and i'm telling you right now this breakneck is a monster i went into a couple of matches with the breakneck after i got it and the class setup that i use on the breakneck is foregrip, advanced rifling, and laser sight. The reason why I use laser sight is because, you know, when you're running and gunning, you get a lot of hip fire kills, and you're, you really, it doesn't allow you to put extended mags on this gun. I mean, this gun's a beast as it is. Granted, it does have minus one on accuracy, that's where the foregrip comes in, but you do have that plus three fire rate. Now, if you try to put rapid fire on any other gun of this class, like the KF5, you know, you're going to get a two point drop off in accuracy. So if you try and put it on a KF5 Marksman, the accuracy is already at a six because it drops one. Put fire rate on there, you're going to drop down to four. 
on the stock Kia 5, you're dropping down to 5. Well, with the breakneck, you get that plus 3 fire rate, one more than the actual rapid fire, and you're only losing one accuracy. That is a huge plus for me, you know, and it blows the spanner away. Granted, the spanner does have higher range, but with the spanner, you're losing two points in fire rate. I mean, you can make that up by running rapid fire, but even still, you're losing that accuracy. And that's something you can't afford to lose, especially for those long range kills. So in the background here, you're looking at a video of me going in and, you know, trying to get some kills with the KF5 breakneck. Not my best gameplay ever with both KF5 videos. I mean, because you got to think I'm an ASM1 guy. I'm not a KF5 guy. Two completely different animals. So I hope you guys enjoy the videos. I'm actually thinking about starting a whole new set of videos where I go and explain to you each and every weapon what variants you need to be using in order to get those elites that you want I'm gonna go and show you the best class setups or at least the ones that I use that I found was the best and the best game modes that you need to go in with these specific weapons in order to get the best kills level up the fastest and have a higher chance of unlocking these weapons so stay tuned to the hand of god gaming youtube channel every single week i'm going to be dropping a new weapon so as always thanks for stopping by do all of that cool youtube stuff please like subscribe share and i will catch you later peace